IGCR, uh, Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research uh, Recruitment for the post of uh, different vacancies. So this is a research fellow, junior GRF as well as PhD. So candidate uh, selected uh, shall register for PhD uh, and uh, those who will join as MTech will be eligible for a direct PhD and uh, those who want to join as uh, BTech uh, an MSc will be considered for integrated PhD, so I'm tech plus integrated PhD. So this is regarding the post of uh, uh, IGCR recruitment. The last date to apply is 12-11-2022. So number of fellowship uh, intakes is 60 vacancies. So wherein uh, the eligibility here is B Tech in any discipline as well as uh, master's degree as well as MSc engineering. So MSc candidates are also uh, applicable to apply. So MSc Material Science and Material Science Engineering will be considered for Integrated PhD as well as uh, the single degree Integrated PhD also and two degree MSc and PhD. So Physical Sciences, the areas of uh, research projects are Physical Sciences, Chemical Sciences, uh, Engineering Sciences uh, as well as uh, so these are the different disciplines wherein there, there are 60 uh, intakes uh, this year. Uh, for the post of uh, direct PhD as well as junior research fellowship. The age criteria is 28 years uh, relaxable to uh, 3 years for OBC candidates and 5 years relaxable uh, for ACST and 10 years relaxation for uh, PWD candidates. And uh, the candidate should have at least 55% uh, age. Uh, so candidates should have consistency good academic record as well as they should have secured minimum of 55% aggregate in graduation as well as post graduation levels from any recognized university and a relaxation of your 5 percentage uh, that is 50 percent for SCST uh, OBC candidates uh, so this is regarding if your uh, university is CGPA you need to have the CGPA to a percentage criteria certification and uh, the call uh, the research areas uh, I mean to say uh, this is the category A wherein uh, uh, master or masters in science or integrated MSc candidates are eligible to apply. So uh, the main subjects here, the master MSc candidates, uh, the physics, uh, material science, chemistry, uh, radiation physics, atmospheric uh, physics, uh, atmospheric science, metro, uh, meteorology. So this is the this is the department. So wherein you can apply. Uh, so the, you need to have uh, the different disciplines. Uh, so mathematical, uh, physical, uh, physics or numerical methods uh, as well as MSc level, uh, chemistry and uh, physics, mathematics, chemistry, BSc level or physics, mathematics uh, at BSc level. So this is the specific qualification. So you need to have MSc in either physics or mathematics. So this is the qualification re uh, required. And category B, uh, MTech in uh, uh, nuclear science, uh, nuclear science and technology or MTech in atmospheric uh, or science of climate science and technology and category C is BTech uh, in different disciplines uh, BTech in uh, four branches uh, chemical uh, these are all the branches where you are eligible to apply for the post of junior research fellowship in the prestigious uh, IGCR which is at Kalapakam chemical engineering, chemical science engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, metallurgical engineering uh, mechanical engineering so this is regarding the btech uh, category c vacancies and uh, category d uh, consists of candidates with the mtech uh, with a gate score so admission to the mtech should uh, be based on valid gate score so this is also uh, for the post of uh, i mean to say for uh, uh, mtech candidates uh, those who have uh, those who want to pursue mtech uh, so this is regarding uh, and the gate score should be appropriate gate paper of any disciplines uh, mentioned under the category c so even uh, the candidates who qualify get in this respective branches, these four branches, they can apply, they can opt for uh, this particular MTech uh, admission. So candidate who joined MTech without get uh, shall appear a written test. So this is also a scope uh, wherein you can join uh, if you didn't qualify get this year, you can also join MTech but there will be written examination, you need to perform better to score well in examination that is uh, the examination conducted by the authorities. So candidate having BTEC uh, uh, in any of the disciplines listed under category C or MSc they can also apply under category D and uh, candidate uh, with the following qualifications are not eligible so uh, this uh, you just see here uh, and uh, the application procedure uh, you need to applications will be scrutinized suitably if, uh, depending upon the requirement and uh, uh, the, the based upon the academic records uh, gate or uh, just scores the cutoff scores of just will be eligible uh, for direct interview so 
there will be written test uh, based on the cutoff score there will be written test uh, interview or direct interview so the written examination will be held on uh, 4 12 2022 at chennai only so, so point to be considered the written examination will be held on uh, december 4th at chennai only that is igcr kalapakam uh, so interview will be conducted for those who qualify in the written examination the next day that is uh, 5 12 2022 onwards so this is regarding the selection procedure Uh, so as of now the category a category b category c category d uh, so this is uh, sub classified into four categories and the selection of uh, uh, interviews for the shortlisted candidates will be held uh, at uh, kalapakam only no online mode it is offline mode and uh, in order to apply for this one uh, you need to apply uh, so this is the application procedure you need to go to the official website the official website link is given in the description So igcr dot uh, gov dot in and you need to fill in the application form and you need to fill in all the testimonials and application form attached to the uh, application form and you need to speed post uh, so speed post uh, of uh, Indian uh, sorry uh, postal services so you need to speed post to this particular address assistant personal officer uh, recruitment section Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research uh, Kalapakam. Uh, Tamil Nadu. So this is the application procedure, but you need to superscribe uh, stating that JRF advertisement number uh, IGCR one uh, with the discipline mentioned, uh, which post you need to apply. So in addition to the above, the scanned copy of application along with the relevant documents shall be sent to this email address uh, on the same day itself. So this is regarding the application procedure, and uh, this is uh, regarding and also fellowship uh, for the first uh, year uh, direct PhD thirty one thousand will be paid. And uh, for the two years, thirty-five thousand. So eligible contingency grant of including forty thousand. So integrated PhD, the so first year will be twenty-one thousand per month, and second year will be uh, twenty-five thousand. So this is the uh, stipend given during the PhD. So PhD will be for five years, and the integrated PhD will be for six years, and uh, a single degree, integrated double degree will be for seven years. So it is a prestigious institute. So we have a lot of scope uh, uh, when you uh, complete uh, this particular course. I mean to say the PhD, uh, integrated PhD, and uh, this is regarding. So the last day to apply here uh, will be online date opening will be 26/10/2022. 20, 20, last day to submit online application 12/11/2022. So this is the. Uh, the schedule of events the written examination will be held on 4/12/2022 20, date of interviews will be uh, from 5th november to 9th november and uh, final selection will be uh, published on 12/12/2022 20, 20, so this is the reporting date uh, so this is the uh, pro procedure i mean to say this is the schedule of events which will be completed uh, by the october sorry by uh, january 2nd 2020 2023 So this is regarding the IGCR recruitment for junior research fellowship. If you belong to the B.Tech category, and if you even didn't qualify yet, you can also apply for this. Uh, uh, so that you can just try it. Uh, if you have an opportunity, you can just go for an uh, interview as well as written examination. Uh, before I conclude, I want you to look into the latest job update playlist so that you will be having an edge of what are the recent notifications out there. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.